two dots. It's the last uh, like quarter of the page. Chovayz on the base. Today's Chov Gimel. Today's Chov Gimel. Acharayim v'toch. The Mishnah tells us that if you have a, a vessel which has multiple parts to it, multiple functions, the inside, the side, underneath, so if part of it becomes Tomei, for Truma, only that's Tomei, but the rest retain the status of Tyra. But for Kodesh, if any part of it becomes Tomei, the whole thing's Tomei. Achorayim, the back, Toch, the inside. My Achorayim, Toch. What's the Achorayim, what's the Toch? Kitnan, Klishinit, Bachorov. Now, we speak this all rabbinical contamination. Rabbinical. It's not a sheretz. A sheretz touches it, it's tummy regardless. Klishinit b'achorov b'mashkin. With mashkin, which is rabbinical, because it's, uh, it's because, ma- it's because the, uh, the liquids that come from a person, like, like saliva or that. Tamein. Yeah. Klishinit b'achorov b'mashkin. Achorov tamein. Tocho v'ogno ozno v'yod of torin. So the back is Tomei, but the inside and the, the Ogen and the Ozen and Yodov, the, the various parts, the handle, the, the edge and that, they retain the status of Tor. Nidva Tocho, what about the inside of the Kli, which is the primary function of the Kli is the inside, then it's Kuno Tomei. Then everything comes Tomei. That's, that's regardless. In my rabbinic. Then it's Ubeisat Tzvito. My Beisat Svito, what does it mean, Beisat Svito? Om Rev Yudah, Om Shmuel, Mokrishit Softo. It's the location, you grab hold of it to give it over. It means like the edge, like a lip. Chen Uom Avi Yitzbot Lo Koli. It says by Rus, by, by Boaz. So Rashi says, the Targum is, he extended. He used Moshit, Losh No Shota, something you extend with. So that's the Svito. Rav Asim, Rav Yochrem, Mokrishit Ki Adas Sovi. So Rashi says people who are Istanisim, people who are actually like pampered, very sensitive regarding their, their eating habits. So Rashi learned the case, Tosas argues, we'll discuss in a moment, that in the, in the bottom of the vessel there's, an, there's, an, like, there's an indentation, and that indentation, they put some like mustard, and you dip the food that's around, you dip it in there. That's Tzvito. So Tosas has a problem with this, because it's actually it's on the inside of the kli. Take bottom tosis, bottom tosis. Mokshin kia das tovim pirish rashi. Chokim shule akara. They actually they they engrave into the bottom of the vessel. They skibu vagove vagove soviv, and then it has walls to it. Vnoslim tocha betocha kibul chometz vachardil, and they put into that vinegar and mustard seed. Hivksho Rabbi Nochanan came the trumat titma kulo came and. The it me achak mi gormi toch tocho. Once the chakak means where it's indented inside becomes tome, that's toch tocho. Therefore, the whole vessel should become tome. V'toch litcho koloma dehochi pirusha masnis nacharayim v'toch hatsvito chorav lo nid matocho. You have to learn differently. Ubeis hatsvito nid matocho ubeis hatsvito. But if it's ubeis hatsvito, but if it's that. He's learning, not simply it means to be Beisat Tzvita becomes Tomei. That's Tomei. That, no, he says the way Rashi is learning, Beisat Tzvita is like the inside, because it is on the inside. Yeah. So if the outside, that doesn't become. But if that does, then everything else becomes. Okay. Tony Rabbibi Kamei the Rav Nachman. Rabbibi said over a b'raisa, before of Nachman, <coughs> what is this referring to? Meaning, we don't differentiate between the back and the inside. Rashi says, "Ein chiluk alif, ein chiluk lehem, ein lehem achorayim, ein chiluk shel achorayim v'toch shel lehem." Elosh nitmo echon miyam hakol tom bein kotche amigdosh bein kotche akvul. Okay, we'll see what this is. So he learned. Ein lohem achorayim v'toch echot kotchei hamigdosh v'ech kotchei agvul. You know, how does he explain that? It's, if it doesn't have an outside, so then we say any part of it becomes tummy, the whole kli becomes tummy, and this applies to kotchei hamigdosh and kotchei agvul. Now the question is, what does that mean? What is kotchei agvul? Simply kotchei agvul means truma. Amalei kotchei agvul meinid. What kotchei agvul means? Agvul means it's outside of the base of migdosh. My kochi agvul, truma. That's kochi agvul. 
I votanana chorayim v'toch v'satzvitul the truma. We say just the opposite. It says no, that for truma we're more lenient. We don't have this stringency. Part of it becomes tomei, the other is not tomei. Dilma lechul shenasa taras hakodesh. What does kochiak bul mean? Means people who maintain chulin, they chulin non consecrated food on the same standard as ko- as kodesh. So that we say, that's the kochiak bul. So that's chulin. That's outside outside of beis Dilma l'chul shenas taras hakodesh ko amrit. He says at karos and nilsa. When you said that, it reminded him of something. When he said that, because of the original problem he had, the Omer Rabbi Rav Hua Achas Esrei Malos Shonukam. There are eleven various standards regarding kochim, right? Kodesh. Sheish Rishon is bein l'kodesh bein l'chul. We had earlier the first six apply to kodesh and chul and shenas taras hakodesh. The last five we said not. Achronus l'kodesh of a little chul shenas taras hakodesh. So therefore, that's what he's saying. That that we say that we don't differentiate between Kodesh and Kochi Agavul, <coughs> it's referring, this is one of the first six. That's what it's referring to. It's, it's what's Chulin Hanasa Tarsa Kodesh. That's what it is. Kodesh my time alone. Now, excuse me, Hanosi is a medrus. A person's carried something, let's say he had a shoe, a person was a Zav and he walked, he had a shoe. So the shoe is tummy medrus, the right. person, right? He sits on, he stands on something. So the shoe, he stands on it, right? Okay. So it's tummy medrus. Medrus, it's considered an avatumi, you touch it, become contaminated. Right. So it says, a person who carries a medrus in an earthenware barrel. So it says, it's inside the barrel. It's inside the barrel. He's not, he didn't touch the shoe. So it right. says, he's not permitted in Kodesh, but he's permitted in Truma. Right. Okay? And those is medrus, no is at Truma. He's permitted to carry Truma. Avalos Kodesh, but he's not permitted to carry Truma. Truma is not per- Kodesh is not permitted to carry. Truma, yes. Kodesh, not Truma, yes. Kodesh, my time alone. Why, why, why we machmer with Truma? Or tells over a story. There was an incident. What was the incident? There was this person, he was carrying a barrel of wine that was Kodesh. That's the wine that was used for the Sochim. That's for the libations. Yain shel Kodesh. Venivska Ritsua shall sandolo. Shall sandolo. And then the strap of the sandal broke off. And he himself was a Zav. He had a story. He was a Zav. So the barrel being an earthenware barrel, he doesn't affect the wine because a, a klicher is not, it doesn't contain from the outside. So the wine inside is, 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 is insulated. But the, the strap broke off. And he went and he put it on top of the barrel. You hear what happened? Okay. So if the barrel has a lid, it's not a problem. What happens if the barrel is partially open right. and the strap didn't even touch the wine, but it went within the, in the walls of the, of the barrel? So it's like the Yohel. That's the Avir. No, it's like a Sheretz. Like a oh, Sheretz, Sheretz within. Okay. The Nofl Avir Chovis. And the strap went into the, oh. within the walls of the, of the barrel. The okay. Nitmes. And right. as a result of the wine became Tomei. Mm. That was the incident, what happened. So what did Chazal do when they heard that happen? Both Sashor, Omru. Chazal said at that moment, Hanosis HaMedrish, Hanosis HaTruma. If it's, you have the same situation, you have this one hand, he's carrying, he has this shoe, which is Medrish. If the Truma is in the earthenware barrel, it's not a problem. Avalosa Hegdish. So the question is, Yehochi Truma Nami? What are you talking about? If we're concerned that he may put the, 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 the strap on top of the barrel, so why should we differentiate between Truma and the Kodesh? As the Kodesh becomes Tomei, the truma becomes tummy in the same way, right? Because the trap goes in within the walls of the barrel, it's going to be metame, it'll contaminate the truma. So why does it say in the Mishnah only that you, what you can't carry, we don't like to carry is, is kodesh, even truma you shouldn't be able to. The same concern for one should be the concern for the other, right? So in that, me go ahead. What's the word Step, be dores. No, dores means to trample on, to step on, right? Like dorech is dores. Okay. No, no, evidently he was a Zav over here. Went over here, Tosis. Avogad the Gabi Tumak Siv, Hai Ritsua, Lav Tlihu, but Lo Sharin until the. One second, one second. In order, there's a Tosis before in the Mishnah. It speaks about what exactly, how did it become Tummy Zav? Because he's Matami Behesit. One second.
Wait, 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 one second, one second, one second. Tos is the beginning of the parak. Hanos is a medrash, minel shel zav, nos is a truma. It's carrying a minel shel zav. Obavachla yigava raktos is chavaz vitan, yudoskana nos is a medrash, one second. Yeah, one second. Yeah, Tosis has the Gashi. Take a look. Tosis, you see Tosis? Oh, yes, the Gashi. Vashri is Nosi, Medrish Nosi is a Trumba Chovis. No Geba Viro Kosh, the Pusha, the Hoshev, Lay Hai Nosi Avatuma, Lutomi Kli, Ekel Tami Hai Chovis, Utruma, Besoch Behesit. Right? That's the discussion of Rashi. Milo Tanya, Mishka Moshe, Vokhlim, Mashkim Kapush Nea, Huria, Hamishka, Timi Asah, Vokhlim, right? If way down on one side of the scale. I mean, Tosis himself is not learning this one. I mean, Rashi learns, which is sort of what you're asking. It should be told me, Behesit. So evidently, the shoe is, 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 is Medris, but he himself is not, is not a Zav. Okay, but the Mars asking the question: If the concern is that he may put the the, the, the strap inside the barrel, right? And when he puts it on the top, it may go within the walls of the barrel. Why should we differentiate between kodesh and, and truma? That's toast. That toast is a kasha. What happens if you have a shoe that's Tommy Medris and then something gets shredded? It's no longer a shoe. It's like. So you, it's like breaking a, a vessel. Right. It's not a clay. So that's Tosis Kasha. Tosis asked, he quotes a Gemara Shabbos that there was an incident, somebody's strap broke off. Right. Said so he wanted to take it. He says, Don't take it. It's Mukta. It's Mukta. So you see, so why? Because it's not a clay. So okay. Tosis asked, you see from over it's not a clay, so why does it have too much, too much magic? That's Tosis on top of Yimel. Take a look at the Tosis. Avagab, there's going to be too much clay, right? It seems to be when the strap broke off, the leather strap. Evidently, it retained its, its contamination of the shoe, correct? Otherwise, when he put the strap on top, it, top, it wouldn't have contaminated the, 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 what's, it, what's in the barrel, correct? Okay. So Tosa says, that's the Avogav the Gabi Tumak Siv Kli, Vairitsuva Lav Kli, who, and the strap is not a Kli. Why? I mean, after it's detached from the sandal, Midlo Sharina Latalta Perke Luxorim, Abaya, the Gemara tells over a story in Gemara Shabbos, Abaya Viko Ozil, Vosir Rav Yosi. Abai was a Talmud, he was going behind his Rebbe. Ipsgle Ritsua, the sandal, and the strap of the sandal broke off Abai's sandal. Umukha, the Osul Letaltlo, Alma Lav Mono, and he told him he's not permitted to carry it. He has to leave it there. He's not permitted to take the strap to carry it. So you see, it's not a Kli. Zoroch Lemeimek on the Shtair Bach Ritsua, Diko Mono, the Hedjot. The Iko, what's it, Bach Ritsua, Diko Mono de hedget yochla zero, but sino nifska sandolo. I'm not sure exactly what it. Seems to be it still had some degree of function, that since even a novice could have put it back, therefore retains the status of a kli. So mukta it's mukta, but factually since you can't, you're not permitted to fix it, therefore it, it, it it's a kli. It's a kli, right? Something that you need a professional to fix. Once it falls apart, it's, it's considered not. But something that even a, but what happens? You're not permitted to put it back on Shabbos. It's, it's, they, don't lose, they don't lose the status of a Kali. Right. So therefore retains its tumor. Okay. Because it's booked, but it has no function. The only permitted to carry a Kali was that as a function. If something doesn't have a function, you know, you're not permitted to touch on it. It's booked on Shabbos. Okay? So now the Gemara is asking a question. Why are we differentiating? If this is a concern, we shouldn't differentiate between Kodesh and Truma, right? But it does. That this halacha is going like Rechanan ibn Akavi. Who is Rechanan ibn Yekavo? The Oma lo osru ele biyardi in the besvin of Maishu Shohoyo. Mar tells over a story. This is by Mechatas. There was a certain incident. And they found, and the incident took place on the Yardin, on a boat. And it was Mechatas. Even though this particular problem may be a problem regarding other things. But he says whenever they legislate a, 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 a certain fence, it's limited to, the, it has to meet all the criteria of the, the characteristics of where it took place. Mahi, what's this? What is it? Titania. Luisa Odo, Mechatos, the Efer Chatos. Person not permitted to carry the water for the Chat, for the Paraduma. Efer Chatos. The Avir, Biyardain, Ubesfina. 
here to, to cross the Yarnim with a boat. To take it, you want to throw it from one side over, over, over the other side. What about to put it on, on, on something, float it across the water. You want to carry it, you want to sit on somebody else's shoulders. Somebody wants to carry you, right? And you want to carry the mechatos or the efer. No. Elam keno yiraglov nogus pakarka. Yeah, the person has to have his feet on the ground. Avo mavira nagabigesh. But let's say person wants to cross the, the yarding. There's a bridge that goes across the yarding. Av mavira nagabigesher bein achoshesh. Echad yarding beechad shar nhoros. Whether it's the yard or the nhoros, meaning. The fact is, with, with, with he's, the Tanakama is, 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 doesn't that say, we'll see in a moment, doesn't have to meet exactly how it happened originally. As long as your feet are on the ground. So if not, we don't differentiate with the Yarden or any other river. Okay? You want to float across some other body of water. It's not good. It's specifically the Yarden. It has to be in a boat. Because that's how it happened. Okay? My Maishu Shoyu, what, what happened? What was the story that happened originally with the Mechatos? My Maishu Shoyu. Don't read the Mechatos, Maishu Bo, the Mechatos, Shoyu, Mavi Mechatos, Vei Mechatos, Biyardin, Ubesvino. Person was transporting the water for the Mechatos, for the Paraduma, or the Ash, in the Yardin, in a boat. Vinibsu, Xais, Mes, Tochu, Bekarkiusu, Shoshvino. And they found there was a Xais of corpse embedded in the floor of the boat. So as a result of what happened, they said, Because that's what happened. It's limited to that. So therefore, over here, because we're saying the original incident with the strap, what was he carrying? He was carrying Kodesh in the barrel and not Truma. So therefore, when we, we create the fence, it's to replicate that original incident. So that, and it happened to be what? It happened to be Kodesh. Really, swear wise, we shouldn't differentiate, as it's a problem for Kodesh to be, right? Mm -hmm. But because that's what happened, that's the way it is. Well, it's interesting, we had this Gemara in, in Mishnah Bayo. The question is <coughs> are you permitted to wear, uh, it's like uh, shoes which have spikes on the bottom? Aren't you, are you permitted? So Gemara yeah. says, on Yom Tif, you're not permitted. So Gemara says, you know, because there was an incident. What was the incident? My sister show you with the Romans. They saw somebody coming and they, they all, they, they rushed and they trampled one another to death. And the reason why they killed one another was because they had these spikes coming out of the shoes. I mean, so, 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 so you shouldn't be able to wear it during the weekday either, right? It's, why is it limited to what? It's, it's Bikoch Mefesh. It's my Shoshoyah. Of course, that's, that's that. The incident happened. It was on Rosh Hashanah. It was on Yom Tif. That was the story. Okay, Iboilu. Now the Gemara has an, an instant. Now Tosis answers, answers an interesting question. It, what was the incident? They found a kazais minames tochuv bekakisu shel svino. A kazais of, of, of a corpse embedded in the floor of the boat. So Tosas asks, well, the very dam chatos, me chatos, nit moving betarin. We find that even if it's contaminated, it's metair. Let's say a woman's in need of, correct? And she was tummy mess, and you want to sprinkle the me chatos on her. The moment it touches her body, it becomes tummy. Right? So how is she relieved of a tumas? Mess, the, 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 sprint, the drops of water touch her body, becomes tummy immediately. The drops, so how is she? So you see, being tummy is not a problem. So being, t right? Otherwise, how, how does it relieve her of a tumas mess? Mm -hmm. So over here, even though the water, bec the mechatus becomes tummy, why should it be a problem? As by the need, it's not a problem. Sure. Shouldn't it be a problem? That's Tosa's question. You had a question. A woman's a need, though. A, a need that touches water. Does water become contaminated? Water comes out of body. Is the water contam contaminated? Okay. So if we're saying mechatos, it can only purify only if it's tor. If the moment, so if it goes on a body and it purifies one thing. But let's say she has another contamination. She's too, too much nida. She's meant the moment the water touches the body, what happens? It becomes contaminated. So how does it affect, how, so how does it relieve her of the, the contamination of the dead? It's evident that we say it's not a problem. Even though the water becomes contaminated, it has the ability to relieve her of the contamination of the dead. Yeah, but even though it's simultaneous, but still, it, it seems, it, but the, he's quoting it more, it shouldn't happen, even though it's simultaneous, but again, because it's simultaneous, therefore it shouldn't work. Right? Should not, but yes, it says because Tumad is, is irrelevant. 
because it, it's effective even in a state of Tuma. So it says if it's effective in a state of Tuma, so why over here the story when they found the excitement that was embedded, why isn't it a problem? We see in the state of Tuma, it could be effective. It could be effective in the state of Tuma. To relieve the person of contamination. So Tosis makes a differentiation whether it's Tumas Nida or this excitement a mess. It's a different type. So Tosis says, Hainu Tumas Tumas Mes Nifsnu. Other Tumas Nida, yes, other Tumas, but here with Tumas Mes, it's, 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 uh, it's invalidated. Won't, share it won't, share it won't. No, anyway, no, anyway. Sure, sure. Right. Mm. Okay, further. Now we have a shaila. When we speak about you need tefillo, right? Normally, if a person comes to me on, on a Torah level, you need Arab Shemesh, right? After you cut, touch a share, it's cut in the mikvah, you have to wait till nightfall. What about these contaminations which are rabbinical? Do you need Arab Shemesh or don't you need Arab Shemesh? Because these are all these are rabbinical stringencies, various levels. So he, they pose the question, Iboilu. Sandal Tome, excuse me, no, I made a mistake. Before we get there, Iboilu, this later comes up. Let's see, these are Zion. One second. Yeah. Iboilu. Ki Gazrina on Sandal Tome. We had said if you're carrying a sandal, so we say it's a problem, right? Because of, of the incident, my show you, sandal torma. What about if you're carrying, right? Maybe when they, when they made, they said you're not permitted to carry a shoe, because you may put it. We don't have to make a differentiation, because once you allow a sandal toro, you'll be mat your sandal tummy, right? So evidently, it's, uh, we're not concerned about exera luxera. It's exera luxera, because this is not a regular rabbinic. This is not a regular rabbinic fence. This is a stringency regarding coaching, right? So we see from here the, the concept of xero xero. It, it doesn't apply. That's the more. How far did they take it? Did they say it's only sandal tome? What about sandal torma? Chavis psucha, chavis tuma. Now, if it's psucha, it's understand. If it ha doesn't have a lid on it, we're concerned. Go. What about if it has a lid on it? So even if you put a sandal on top or a strap, it's not going into the barrel, right? Or maybe we say we don't differentiate. Once you allow a person to put it on the barrel, people won't differentiate whether it's open or closed, right? What about he did the wrong thing? Is it contaminated? We say when you carry the, 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 the Kodesh, you shouldn't carry, you shouldn't have a, a, a sandal in your hand. Why? Because you'll contaminate because of the incident. What about if he did the wrong thing? He did the wrong thing. Is it tome or is it not? How do we treat the Kodesh? Okay, Mao, Rabbi Loma, Im Ovev Nosatome. Hear this? If you did the wrong thing, rabbinically, we would be tamed. Rabbinically, it's, it's, it's contaminated. Although he didn't put it on top, right? The, the Shaila is, he did the wrong thing, right? He carried the, the sandal in his hand. He never put it on top. In that situation, what's the status of the Kodesh in the barrel? Maybe they penalize him. Maybe they penalize him. Maybe we treat it that way. He was told because, because, because since it could happen, he may do it. So people say, see, I did it. Nothing happened. It, it retained its, its purity. But if we're, oh, we're going to contaminate, next time person's not going to do such a thing because he's going to want to make it retain its, 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 its pure status, its tyro, right? No, we're talking about, no, you could wear it on your foot. We're talking about he was carrying it. He's carrying it in his other hand. Of course, the same goes to the incident that took place, okay? With a sandal. We're not even talking about a, I don't know, a regular shoe. It's a sandal. Reb Omar... Reb says disagrees. Other than Nosator, he disagrees with Rebbeinu. Rebbeinu says Tome. Rebbeinu says we don't penalize it since factually he what he didn't it didn't happen. So it's Tor. Okay. Now the Mishnah says Kalim and Igmor and Betayro. Now a Kli is not metabol Kabul Tum until it's, it has the status of a Kli. So let's say it says that if you finish the Kli Betayro, you have to be tovel it before you use it for coaching. So the said, what's going on over here? If it's told, what, what, what do you have to put it in the mikvah, right? So Mar says, the Gamrina name, the Gamrina man. First of all, who completed the Kli? Was he an Amoretz? Was he a Chover? Right? What was he? His name was in Red China. Maybe where was it made? 
Okay? Man, Elim the Gamrinu Chover. If a Chover actually completed the Kli, Lamalu Tvila. Why? What's the Tvila? He made everything was 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 100%. Ella the Gamrinu Amoretz. So the Mar says, Nigmar and Betaira Kari Lu. It says, even it's Nigmar Betaro, it still needs Tvila, but that's not Nigmar Betaro. Because the Amoretz that he touches the Kli, the Monfi, he's Metamit. So I can say that's called Nigmar and Betaro. You have the question. Not okay, it's a simple, simple question. It says, if the kli, even though the Kli was completed the Taro, it still needs Tvila. But if the Amoritz completed the Kli, he was the craftsman. It wasn't, when it became a Kli, the mom became his tummy already, because he's touching it. Anything that uh, Amoritz touches, he's Metami rabbinically. No, but that, then we have a problem with the Mishnah. So what's Nig, Nig, Nigmar Bataro? You hear the question, Norman. It says in the Mishnah, even though the vessel was completed in Taro, it still needs Tvila. So the one wants to, who completed the Kli? The Chavar completed the Kli, it doesn't need, it doesn't need a Mikvah. Because the only needs a Mikvah if it has some relevance to Tumah. Even on, on, a, on a stringency level. And if the, if the Amor has completed it, the moment it, it was never Nigmar, it wasn't completed by Taro, because he, he's touching it. Anything he touches is Tumah. When was it, when was it Nigmar by Taro? No, before he completes it, it's not a Kli. And when it comes to Kli, it's Tommy. So what's Nigmar Bataro? Right, simple question. Okay, it says in the Mishnah, even though the Kli is completed, Bataro, you have to put it in a mikvah. So wants to know who completed it. Who was the craftsman? Was he a Chavir? If he's a Chavir, then he doesn't, you don't have to put it in the, in the, in, in, in the mikvah, right? Because a Chavir, everything he does perfectly. He takes every precaution. He conducts himself in the level of, of, of purity. So the Kli is definitely Torah. So if it's definitely Torah, what do you have to put in the mikvah? So the answer is, no, that's simple, simple. And if, if, if we're talking about it was Namoretz who completed it, so the moment he completed it, he's touching it. So what if it was completed by Tara? He, he himself is, he is the source of contamination. So it's Tomek. So it's, of course he needs to. Let's say he had a Kli that was Torah and he touches it. Do you have to put it in the mikvah? You have to put it in the mikvah. So what's the mission to tell me, Chiddush? Even though it's Nigmar Tari, you got to put it in the mikvah. Of course you have to put it in the mikvah. If, he, if he's not Moritz, you have to put it in the mikvah. He's touching it. No, the, the Moritz for himself couldn't care less. We're talking about for us, like the Gemara says before, the, Chav, the Amoritz doesn't ask Shilas. We're talking about for, for us, because it has relevance to us. So if the Amaritz touches the Kli, it's understood. The, if the Chavar wants to use the Kli, he has to put it in the Mikvah. And that what the Amaritz sees the Chavar doing, it's irrelevant to him. Because he says, that, that's for them, that's not for us. Okay? So Mar says, Omar, Rabba Bar Shilo, Omar of Masta, Omar Shmuel, Olam, the Gamina, Chavar, Chavar finished. Completed the vessel. So it so gets back to the question, why doesn't he feel up? The Umishum Tinor Dam Amaritz, the Nafal. Stop. Sidor, what happens? What is the saliva of an Amoritz? Rabbinically, he contaminates. Right? We gave the, the status of a Zov, of a person that has a flow. The Nophilema. So, when did the saliva fall on the Kali? Before it was completed or after it was completed? Elema, Ukami, Digmirino, Digmirino. If it's before, Holav, no. Holav Monohu. It's not a Kali. The material. You have the raw material. Ella, the boss of the Gamri. Okay. Afterwards, Mar says that. Mrs. Zorbu, there's no way. There's no way if the man's a Chavar who's the craftsman, there's no, he'll take every, of course, the Chavar is not going to be around the Kli right. because accidentally something may spray out of his mouth, his saliva will be contaminated. Okay. Rabbinic, rabbinical, of an, of, of, of an Amoritz, not to him, Amoritz, not to him. So Mar says, Lola, Mikami, the Gamri. The saliva went on it before, so therefore the, the Chavar wasn't careful. He doesn't have to be careful, right? Okay. Of course, it's not a clear. Yeah. One second. The Dilmas, now what's the concern? So since the saliva was on the material, we're taking an extra precaution. Dilma, be eaten of the gamri, adayin lachahu. Maybe it's still moist. So if it's still moist, what's its status? It's still called saliva. So therefore, even though it's nigmar betaro, being the, um, the chavit took all the precautions, that at, when it was nigmar, there wasn't amor around, 
Nevertheless, but since before it came in contact with, it, with the source and it still be moist, therefore it needs to be law in the mikvah. Did you say, is this a, a Johnson source? It's burnt out. It's, it's not. Yeah, I need a more. No, it's, it's different. It's different. No, it's different. It's, 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 it's not tum of a tyra. That's how locha. Plead it's made by a guy needs tefila. Right. It's made by a Jew doesn't need tefila. Right. Okay. We're talking about tum zivo. Okay. Right. Because he may have a flow. So the slive of a, of a zav. So if he has a flow, he touches. He's metame. This is all rabbinical. It's a rabbinical chumra. These are rabbinical uh, stringencies. Okay, back back to the drawing board here. Now, it says you need tefila. So what's the inference of tefila? Tefila ain heref shemesh lo. It seems only tefila, but heref shem is not mean. The rabbinical tefila is only to a point. We don't give it the full brunt of a Torah tefila. Basis, if that's the case, basis lo kribelezer. If not, the mission, our mission is not going to Rebbe because it says it needs tefillah, it seems to be, but immediately after tefillah you could use it. If not, Shvofere Shechotcho Lechatos. Here, you had a, a tube. Shvofere says a tube. Okay, and it was cut to be used for the chatos. Let's see, it was like a cylinder that put the ash in. What? Whatever it is. It could be uh, cottonwood. So it has like cellulose. You could clean it out. Shchato lechatos. Reb Leza omi yitbol miyad. Reb Leza says you have to be told it immediately. Yitbol miyad. Reb Shome yitmo. Yeah, this yitbol. I mean, you don't have to first contaminate it. It's being used for the paraduma. It's being used for the paraduma. Okay. So the ta- ta- the uh, Reb Leza says yitbol miyad. You don't have to. You're not first contaminate it, and then you tovel it. Shome no yitmo vakach yitbol. You first have to first contaminate it, and then you tovel it. One second. Rashi. So Rashi says, why, according to Reb Lesses, you, you, you tovel it immediately? All the kalim that you use for pora duma, you have to be tovel them. And use it, you don't have to wait until, until Erev Shemesh. You don't need Erev Shemesh. Okay? So, yeah, one second. Rabbi Yeshua may know. Yitmo, Rashi says, Yitmo with a sheritz. Tumado Raisa. Okay, you take a sheritz, you put it to the Kli, Vakach Yitmo. So, this is, this is a bona fide tumor. This is the real thing. Tosis takes issue with this. We'll see. Yitmo Vakach Yitmo. Vavine Bo. The Chotchama. Now, initially, what, 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 why are we being told this thing over here, right? Who exactly, who cut it? Originally, yeah. Rebbe Reb- says you tovel immediately. So evidently, there's some degree of tumah here. If there's no degree, what are you being to- tovel it? Correct? Right. Okay. Rebbe Yeshua is not satisfied, even though that may be the case. Rebbe Yeshua says you have to have a real tumah. You put a sheretz to it. So said so Umara says, who cut it? I mean, who made it into a kli? When he, the tube was cut, the sil, who cut it? That, that, with the same Umara has the same discussion. Here. So how do we understand Rebbe Lezer? What do you need to feel? Elo dechot cham oretz. Yeah. Behal leimer Rebbe Yishua yitmo v'yitbo. I mean, if if the amoretz card was Rebbe Yishua, say you have to take a share to be metamid. The amoretz already was metamid, right? Okay. The other question. 
Why does Yeshua say you have to be? If we're talking about the Amoritz, cut the tube, so the Amoritz is like the Sheretz. So why does Yeshua say you have to do an overt act of contamination, but the craftsman was not Amoritz? Right? So Amoritz says, Chover cut it. Same answer as before. But what's the reason? The Amoritz, the Nofal, stop. But because of the saliva of the Amoritz, the Nofalemus, when did it fall? When did the saliva go on the material? Did it, did it, did it fall upon before he cut it, before it took on the status of a Kli? So it doesn't contaminate it. After he cut it, if that, that's not possible, Mrs. Zorba, the, the Chover is careful that the, the, the Amoritz shouldn't be there. He c- it actually, the slide went out before, before it was a clay. But Dilma, Bidno, the Chotcho, Adai, Lachi. Maybe when he cut it, it was still slightly moist. It still had the status of saliva. And that's the reason why it's Tomek. That's Rebbe Lezer. Rebbe Lezer says there's no need to be Metamit. But because of the history and the background, there's a chance that it's Damon Man. That's sufficient. You betovel it. Okay? That's the discussion. Bishlom, the Rebbe Shua. According to Rabbi Shua, says you have to be, uh, do an overact of Tumah. Yeah. He says they would actually, they would metame the Kohen who did the Paraduma, who burnt the Paraduma, to what? Because the Tzukah held, show you Omrim, Muri Shem Shoysen Nasis. Okay? What did the Tzukah say? What? I understand, but how do you read this? The whole team shall show you Omrim, Bemurve Shemesh. You need Erev Shemesh. Yeah, yeah, because they, they didn't differentiate. Because we hold, let's say, you want to eat Kochim, you want to eat Truma. You need Erev Shemesh. You want the base of Migdash, you need Erev Shemesh. So this Paraduma also needs Erev Shemesh. So therefore, they, the whole team, Lima Shal Tzutukim, show Omrim, Bemurve Shemesh. So over here, so according to Rabbi Shua, we were Metamim, and then the Kohen, without waiting till nightfall, he did the Paraduma. So that's to counter that position. El Reb Lezer, Iyam Rabbi Shlomo, Baal Mabin and Hem Shemesh. But if you say that what? That norm, no. Baal Mabin, normally you do need Reb Shemesh. Hainu Dika Hakeru Lutztukim. If you say you normally need Reb Shemesh, even by what? By Tumaj Rabbonon. Even by rabbinical contamination, you need Reb Shemesh. So over here, we let the man do it immediately. After he goes to the mikvah, he say, right, go to the mikvah, go do it. So it's clear, you have the heker. Eli Amrit, I'm a lobin in Erev Shemesh. If you say by Tumaj Rabbanu, you don't need Erev Shemesh, ever. Maya Keri, let's do Kimiko. How's their heker? Right? There won't be trenching through this and Kochim, anything. You just go to the mikvah, whether it's A, B, C, or D, or whatever, maybe. It's evidently, you see from Rabbi Lezer, that he said, you just go to the mikvah. Normally, you do need Erev Shemesh. You do have to wait till nightfall, even though all the rabbinical contaminations. But this one, you don't. You don't. Right? My, but it, because otherwise, you can ask, how do you see Paraduma is different than all other, all other issues of Kochim? Because by no Tumat Rabbonon, do you need Herb Shemesh? Okay? Omar, Rav, Asu Ketomi Sheretz. One second. He says they gave it the status like it touched the sheretz. So Rashi says, I'll tell you there's no proof. Normally by rabbinic contaminations, you don't have to wait till nightfall. Right? Rebelezer, Loboyer Shemesh Rebelezer, Lekalem and Igmor and Betairo. What's the Zion here? There you go. Rebelezer, Shemesh, Lekalem and Igmor and Betairo. Here, 
What's Tal Bocha? A Rishon makes a Shemi, correct? Right. A Rishon regarding Rishon the Shemi. But by normally Tumid Rabbonon, you don't. Tumid Rabbonon, not. Here they gave the same status. So if they gave it the same status, like a, no, so why you, don't you need Erev Shemesh? So regarding this, we treat it like a regular, right. like a, a Sheretz touches food. It touches a Klee. And now you put food in the Klee. What happens to the food in the Klee? Yeah. It comes tummy. Right? That's Rishon Shemi. Normally by a rabbinical contamination, we don't say that. But for this contamination, regarding Paraduma, we treat it like a Sheretz touched it. So if we treat it like a Sheretz touched it, why do you need Erev Shemesh? It's like a Sheretz. So that, that you don't need Erev Shemesh, that's the hekir for the Tzutukim. You understand? Because this Tumaj is not like a regular Tumaj Normally Tumaj you go to the mikveh, you come out, it's not a problem. What happens if it touches something? It's, it's limited to itself. It doesn't contaminate something else. But since, by Paraduma, because of the stringency, they gave it to Tumaj So therefore, if it's Tumaj Sheretz, you need Erev Shemesh. So why don't you have Erev Shemesh? To tell you that Paraduma doesn't need Erev Shemesh. Which, which, which counters the position of the Tztukim. Because they hold, it does need Erev Shemesh. Like every el- everything else needs Erev Shemesh. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 Reb Lesses, you don't have to contaminate him. You don't have to contaminate the person. According to, according to Reb Yeshua, the way you have to contaminate him with a sheritz. And yet, despite that, he'll do the avoda. So there he should need Reb Shemesh. The sheritz touched him. He should need it. So according to Reb Yeshua, we hear, we hear, there's a hacker. Normally you touch a sheritz. You have to wait till nightfall after you go to the mikvah. Here, Torah, we don't have to. Reb Lesses, it's not necessary. Just go straight in the mikvah and come out. So the question is, but if you tell me by every tumah drabonon, by every tumah drabonon, you don't need erev shemesh. So by not going, waiting till nightfall, how do we see paraduma doesn't need erev shemesh? If you want to eat truma, you don't need erev shemesh. If you come in contact with this kind of contamination, right? As long as you go to the mikveh, you can eat truma immediately. So that, that's the question. He says no. Regarding paraduma, they treat it, they treat it differently, because since you see, normally we don't have rishon and shani. But for Paraduma, you treat it like, like Tommy Sheretz. So if you treat it like Tommy Sheretz, why shouldn't you need Shener of Shemesh? The answer is to see, show you. The answer is you don't need it. Because even if a Sheretz would have touched it, it does not need Herb Shemesh. So according to Rabbi Shua, Rabbi Shua is the exact same thing, uh, excuse me, Rabbi Lez is the exact same thing as Rabbi Shua. Rabbi Shua says you have to touch him with a Sheretz. Right? Rabbi Shua is on, on the first side of the page. You take a Sheretz, then he goes to the Mikveh. Rebless, it's not necessary. He goes straight into the mikvah without touching that or anything. So the one says, so what's, what's, what, what's it all about? The Yisabur tells the story because a chover cut it and it had this live on it before and there's a chance it may have still been moist. Therefore, you told it. And you use it before waiting for nightfall. Well, the answer is because this is really like Tommy Sheretz because you have a Rishon and Shani. Okay? Samar so asks... Yeah. So now, the question is, how, why does it contaminate a person? A person only becomes tummy from what? If you touch what? You touch an avatuma. You touch a source. But over here... Why should it be Tome? What is the Kli? The Kli is what is a Rishon? So to, what, if, if a person touches a Rishon, it becomes Tome. It's not Tome. Elamiato, Losit Maodom, Alomatanya, Chotrum, Advilo, Ton Tfilo, the one who cut it and the one who put it in the mikveh, he also has to go to the mikveh. What does he have to go to the mikveh? Elasu, Ketome Mes. They didn't give the status of a Tome Sheretz, like to the, to the, to the Poraduma, to all the things. But Ketomi Mes, Sinmar says, Iochi, if you gave a step to Tiboy, Hazoas, Shlishu Shvig, you should have the spring on the on, on third and seventh day, like Paradumo, Alomatanyo, Chotcho Madbilo, Ton Tfilo. So it says, the one who cuts it and the one who stops needs Tfilo. Tfilo Ain, 
has a shlishi shvi lo? So you see clearly it's not. So now we're back to the qu- first question. So why does Tommy share it? Tommy share it. So why does he? Why does he need tefillah? The one who cut it. El asu ketomi mes bishvi shelo. That's the ma'aser. It's after. It's like Tommy mes on the seventh day after he got the sprinkling. He goes to the mikveh. So what? A regular Tommy mes after the seventh day when he goes to the mikveh. He has to wait for erev shemesh. Right here. here he doesn't need erev shemesh. Immediately he could be. He could participate in the paraduma. So Maria says, "Vatan yimel lo chitu dova b'poro." But according to this, we have all kinds of new chidushim by Pora Aduma. So Rashi says, "Abi shosu b'maylas harbei b'shul zilzu b'shazer shometamen koyin asorfo lasus tful yom." You know, the Gemara says that the nishta Pora that all the vessels that were used for the Pora Aduma were not set for Tuma. They were stone, or they were earthen vessels that were never put into the kiln. They were fired in the kiln. Because if we're so lenient, doesn't the part of the people will be negligent in other areas. Right. So the people shouldn't take it lightly. We're treating it like the Tommy Mess after he got the, seventh, the, third, the, the sprinkling on the seventh day. But I just want to say something. I'm now Rashi learned according to Rabbi Shua, he metamim with the sheretz. Tosis argues. Tosis learns differently. Rashi says, where is it? He quotes Rashi, and he brings. I think Yerushalmi. Where is it? Yeah. You see Tosis at bottom Tosis. So next to the bottom. Tosis. Tosis brings it to Sefta. He says, even though Rashi says, you take a share of the road and put it in, from the Sefta, it seems to be not that way. These are all the Chumris. They would touch him themselves. Meaning, the person is considered so pure that anybody who touches him contaminates, like you go into an operate, uh, operating room. Man says, You know, I just took a shower, but for, uh, you're not sterile enough for an operating room. That's the way it is. So by touching the person who is, is set aside for the paraduma, anybody touches him, he contaminates him. So that's the, not, not like Rashi. So because it has, that's the standard, that's the reason why, that's why he has to go to the mikveh, because somebody else touched him. So it seems to be not like Rashi, you need a tumah Rashi says you have to take a sheretz to touch him. Except it seems to be you don't need this to be contaminated.